Hi, I'm Steve Dawson and I'm the president of Sintercast. In this video series, we'll discuss topics that are related to our business and to our technology. And in the first video, I'd like to make a general introduction to Sintercast. Um, Sintercast is the industry leader for a new type of cast iron called compacted graphite iron. And compacted graphite iron is particularly well suited to applications which have a mechanical load and a thermal load at the same time. So one of our main applications is for engines. We have the mechanical load from the pressure inside of the cylinder, and we have the thermal load from the combustion of the fuel. Um, compacted graphite iron is stronger and stiffer than the normal cast iron, and so engine manufacturers can make their engines smaller and lighter, and they can also push them harder to get more performance, and that means better fuel economy and less CO2 emissions. Um, we don't actually make the castings ourselves. We're a technology provider, so we provide the process control technology to the foundries, and they in turn produce the castings and deliver them to the car and truck companies. Um, we started our business here in the home market of Europe, but as we grew up and expanded, uh, we've established offices in China and in Korea. We also have an office in North America and in Brazil. Um, we grew up with CGI and it's still the biggest part of our business, but in the last few years we've also used our uh, experience with foundry and process control and precision measurement to develop new technologies for tracking and traceability. And we'll talk about those in the eighth and the ninth videos in this series. Um, the first CGI engine was produced in 1999. It was a 3.3 liter V8 for Audi. Um, since that time, we've grown up to produce well more than one million engines per year. Uh, and we also produce other parts. Our smallest casting is 2.7 kilograms. It's a small turbocharger housing. And our largest casting is 9,000 kilograms. It's an engine frame for marine applications. Um, we've installed our technology now in 57 uh, different foundries in 14 countries around the world. And someone is taking a center cast sample every couple of minutes somewhere in the world. Uh, in 1993, we listed the company on the Stockholm Stock Exchange, and we're still publicly listed. We have approximately 3,000 shareholders and 7 million shares. So let's look at what we do on the production side. Um, in this slide, you can see two different engines. They're both V6s, and the top engine is a 3-liter diesel and the bottom engine is a 2.7 liter petrol engine. We produce these for passenger cars, so they're used in cars, um, in SUVs, and in pickup trucks. Um, also on the passenger car side, we produce larger engines, so let's rescale. This is our 3 liter V6. Uh, we produce a 6.7 liter diesel engine for super duty pickup trucks in North America for both Ram and for Ford. And these are around six or seven liters. Um, both of these engines are produced in high volume, something like 1,000 engines per day. Um, we can scale up again and move to commercial vehicles. So here we see the small three liter engine, the six or seven liter mid-range engine. And for commercial vehicles, we produce both cylinder blocks and cylinder heads. So in commercial vehicles, the pressure is much higher the cylinder board diameter is bigger, so there's an even higher need for stronger materials. And that's why we produce both the cylinder block and the head. We have 22 different components in production today. Our smallest casting is 3.9 liters for, uh, it's a cylinder block, think of a dump truck or a utility truck. And our largest casting in this sector is 16.4 liters for a long haul road transport. We can rescale again. So now we see the small three and six liter passenger car engines and the larger kind of 10 to 15 liter engine for commercial vehicles. And we're also active in the industrial power sector. So think here of off-road, whether it's agriculture, construction, rail, or marine or stationary power generation. Um, in this example, you can see a large uh, engine for marine application and it's a really nice reference to see the people down at the bottom of the engine. It's the same technology, it's just scaled up. For these large engines, we make the piston rings, and we're also developing the cylinder liners, and we expect that production to begin soon. 
So, comparing the different sectors, we're active in passenger vehicles, in commercial vehicles, and also in industrial power. The passenger vehicle engines tend to be around 0.5 to 1 liter per cylinder. The commercial vehicle engines are 1 to 2, so think of that small uh, four-cylinder 3.9 liter engine, and the larger engines perhaps 12 liters, um, inline six cylinder, so two liters per cylinder. And in the largest of engines, uh, they may be up to 2,500 liters per cylinder. Um, there's a pyramid in the industry. We always speak of the production pyramid. So at the bottom of the pyramid, we have the small castings, which are produced in high volume. And at the top of the pyramid, we have the very large castings, which are produced in a smaller volume. So for the passenger car engines, a lot of our higher volume engines are running at more than 1,000 pieces per day. Um, for commercial vehicle production, 50,000, 75,000 would be a high volume. And for the very large engines, those OEMs would be happy to make one per day, um, 300 per year. Um, currently, our series production split is 55% passenger vehicle, 40% commercial vehicle, and about 5% industrial power and off-road. Um, as we develop uh, over time and the demand on commercial vehicle engines grows, we see that commercial vehicles will be our largest growth opportunity. So I hope that that gives a good overview of our company. And if you want more information, contact Sintercast.